Um, hi, I'm Cassie Steele. I teach sixth grade reading at Hazard Middle School and my project is Ready, Set, Read. Um, in an ideal world, all students would love to read. Unfortunately, for the majority, that just isn't the case. So how many of you in here teach reading? Okay, how many have all of your students that just love to read? You have to tell them to put their book down to do their work. Okay, me either. So, um, as a teacher, how am I to expect my students to love to read when they have zero interest in the reading material? Because most of the time, either they're reading informational texts or stories that you assign. But in my case, even the accelerated reader books, we have like hardly any books to choose from. Um, when I started, I had a few books left over and then I bought more, but for some reason, this group I had last year, they didn't get the concept that when you check a book out, you give it back. So my library, this is what it looks like right now. And I mean, it's tiny. And even the books that are there, who knows if the kids are even interested in them. So I wanted to increase their reading performance. And like I said, how are they supposed to do that if they hate to read, if they never read? Only when they have to. So, to address the problem of low student reading performance in my classroom, I will introduce student choice to my readers. Class classroom library books will be purchased based on student interest. And so then my question was, will student choice increase reading performance? Um, what I'm doing is I'm purchasing all kinds of new AR books. So, I mean, you can imagine how many books the grant money can purchase. And the first thing I did was I sent around, this was before I even knew that I had gotten the grant. I sent around a list or a table for my kids to fill out. I'm like, if I could buy any book, what would you want it to be? You can put as many as you want to put on there just to kind of get an idea, you know, if I did get the grant of what to get. And so at first I were kind of, I had some that were all about it and I had others that were like, and just passed it on. But then, you know, all it took was just a couple of those cool kids to start filling it in. Then all the other ones started, you know, uh, can you get this sports book? Even some of the girls, can you get this volleyball book? And I mean, I never would have thought to try to look for volleyball books, you know, but it's what they're interested in. So I ended up having a huge list of books and um, I've already given an interest survey and it was interesting because it was exactly 50-50. I love to read, I hate to read. And I showed them, I did it on a Google form so it automatically put all the data together and I put it up on the board and they were like, let's see what the next one is. Well, Cause I mean, they were already interested. And so they've already taken their first round of reading performance assessment. Um, so I'm hoping that we'll see results. And I mean, they're already very interested in it. They already want to know when the books will be there, when I'll have them ready to put out, you know, they're excited about it. So I'm hoping that we'll see results because really our IR program, how many do IR that teach reading? Well, we do, and I really have been pushing it. And even since I've been there, it's only my fourth year, I've seen just a decrease. I mean, it's like pulling teeth to get them to do it. Like I said, you have ones that will like blow it out of the water. I mean, they'll have hundreds of AR points, but then you'll have others that will have like nine. And, you know, where's the balance between you know, the ones that don't want to do anything and the ones that are overachievers. So I'm hoping that this will help with it. And I mean, from what we've done so far, it looks like I'll have good results from it.